Hey everyone, it's Jush ASMR, and I'm here um, making a new video. As you can see, I'm in a um, new space. Uh, I moved a couple months ago, and um, yeah, I've been living here. I've been pretty um, busy just doing life. But um, I thought that I'd try to get back into making some videos. So I hope you guys uh, are still around. Um, yeah. Um, I uh, think I ended off reading Proverbs 29. It's been a long time <laughs> coming that I've that I'm, I'm finishing Proverbs, but in the next two episodes I should be able to finish because there is, um, that was my phone, there are just, um, two chapters left, 30 and 31, um, yeah, after I finish reading, not sure what I'll do. I might try to do some just regular ASMR stuff. Um, just, I don't know. Just triggers, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have been doing well. I've been doing all right. Um, just, yeah, trying to figure out life and, um, yeah, I've been trying to be more active, exercise more. Um, it's good for my body and my mental health. Um, but yeah, so, okay, let's get started. It's been so long. It's sort of like ticking. Okay, it's gone. Okay, sayings of a A-G-U-R, Ager. Um, Proverbs 30. The sayings of Agar, son of Jaquet, an oracle. This man declared to Ithiel, to Ithiel, to you call. I am the most ignorant of men. I do not have a man's understanding. I have not learned wisdom, nor have I knowledge of the Holy One. Who has gone up to heaven and come down? Who has gathered up the wind in the hollow of their hands? Who has wrapped up the waters in his cloak? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and the name of his son? Tell me if you know. Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. Do not add to his words or he will rebuke you and prove you a liar. Two things I ask of you, O Lord. Do not refuse me before I die. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me either poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, Who is the Lord? Or I may be poor and steal and so dishonor the name of my God. Do not, do not slander a servant to his master or he will curse you and you will pay for it. There are those who curse their fathers and do not bless their mothers, those who are pure in their own eyes and yet are not cleansed of their filth, those whose eyes are ever so haughty, whose glances are so disdainful, disdainful, those whose teeth are swords and whose jaws are set with knives, to devour the poor from the earth, the needy from among mankind. The leech has two daughters. Give, give, they cry. There are three things that are never satisfied, four that never say enough. The grave, the barren womb, land, which is never satisfied with water, and fire, which never says enough. The eye that mocks a father that scorns obedience to a mother will be pecked out by the ravens of the valley and will be eaten by the vultures. There are three things that are too amazing for me, four that I do not understand. 
the way of an eagle in the sky, the way of a snake on a rock, the way of a ship on the high seas, the way of a man with a maiden. This is the way of an adulteress. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I've done nothing wrong. Under three things the earth trembles, under four it cannot bear up. A servant who becomes a king, a fool who is full of food, an unloved woman who is married, and a maidservant who displeases her mistress. Four things on earth are small yet are extremely wise. Ants are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer. Conies are creatures of little power, yet they make their home in the crags. Lotus have no king, yet they advance each other in ranks. A lizard can be caught with the hand, yet it is found in king's palaces. There are three things that are stately in their stride, four that move with stately bearing. A lion, a mighty among beasts, who retreats before nothing. A strutting rooster, a he-goat, and a king with his army around him. If you have played the fool and exalted yourself, or if you have planned evil, clap your hand over your mouth. For as churning the milk produces butter, and as twisting the nose produces blood, so stirring up anger produces strife. So I'll read the descriptions as I always do. Um, 30 verse 1. The origin of these sayings is not clear. Nothing is known about Agar except that he was a wise teacher who may have come from Lemuel's kingdom. Verse 2 to 4. Because God is infinite, certain aspects of his nature will always remain a mystery. Compare these questions with the questions God asked Job in Job 38 to 41. Verse 4, some scholars feel that the son referred to is the son of God, the pre-incarnate being of the Messiah who, before the foundation of the earth, participated in creation. Colossians 1, 16, 17 teaches that, though Christ, that through Christ the world was created. Verses 7 and 9, having too much money can be dangerous, but so can having too little. Being poor, in fact, be hazardous to, oh, being poor can, in fact, be hazardous to spiritual well, spiritual as well as physical health. On the other hand, being rich is not the answer. As Jesus pointed out, rich people have trouble getting into God's kingdom. Like Paul, we can learn how to live whether we have little or plenty, but our lives are more likely to be effective if we have neither poverty nor riches. Verse 13, this phrase refers to prideful and haughty people who look down on others. Verses 11 to 14 contain a fourfold description of arrogance. Verse 15, three things dot 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 four is a poetic way of saying the list is not complete the writer of these proverbs is observing the world with delighted interest verses 15 to 30 are an invitation to look at nature from the perspective of a keen observer verse 24 to 28 ants can teach us about preparation coonies badgers about wise building, locusts about per co cooperation and order, and lizards about fearlessness. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the descriptions and of Proverbs chapter 30. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I think... Let's see what my favorite verse was. Um, um, honestly, maybe the verse of that um, the description talked about about um, money. Let's see where it is. Uh, yeah, verse seven to nine. Two things I ask of you, O Lord. 
do not refuse me before I die. Keep falsehood and lives far from me, but give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise I may have too much and disown you and say, Who is the Lord? Or I may become poor and steal and so dishonor the name of my God. I feel like after college, as I've been growing up, I feel like money has become a very real thing, an issue you could say, not like an issue as something you, as in something you have to like constantly think about now that you've grown up. And I feel like I'm having trouble trying to really understand why people work and the reason behind money um i don't i i don't know i've i always felt like i wanted to you know achieve all these dreams and make money and um i don't know like be rich i guess not like rich rich but I don't know, strive to have like some wealth, you know, that I can, you know, be well off and provide for my family. But I don't know, I'm thinking maybe I could just make, you know, a decent living doesn't have to be too much. Maybe I don't even per se have to achieve my dreams, even though that is that would be very nice i don't i feel like living just living a good life is like good enough you know what i mean like not that i'm not going to strive for my dreams or whatnot but i feel like just being healthy and happy is like pretty good to be honest and i, I it's it, it it just saying that from the perspective of like there are a lot, a lot of people who just can't have a happy and normal life, you know, and and they they they're not even fortunate enough to like even aspire to do anything in their life because they have been so unfortunate. People with like you know whatever problems that life altering problems that people have, and I feel like life can be so fragile that like one single thing can completely change your life, and we don't know when that will be. So I feel like. Being happy with what you have, what you currently have, is good. And obviously striving for better is, is good, but, you know. Yeah, I feel like being grateful for what you have right now is good. Um, yeah, so hopefully I will be back. I'm thinking tomorrow, hopefully, <laughs> with another tomorrow or the day after, we'll see with another uh video for proverbs 31 and that will be the end of our proverbs and yeah hopefully that'll be good and hopefully i'll be you know back with a couple um, other videos please stick around if you want to see them like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye bye peace